One of the best things terrorists could do is just build more fast food restaurants, maybe add another pharmaceutical company, have a couple more infomercials, and encourage people to eat the way they eat now. And everybody's going to be dead in a hundred years. They can just walk right in, don't have to do a thing. One quarter of what you eat keeps you alive, and three quarters of what you eat keeps your doctor alive. Cancer rates going up, heart disease going up, stroke going up. We're poisoning ourselves with highly processed, nutrient depleted foods. One of the major problems is what we do to the soil and the air and the water and everything we take in our food. We, for whatever reason, decided we're going to spray everything with every kind of pesticide, herbicide, larvicide, fungicide. We decided we're going to genetically modify things we don't know anything about. Can we actually improve what has already been created? And the answer is maybe, but not the way we've been doing it. If you want to know what's wrong, look down at the table. It's staring back at you. Think of it as chronic malnutrition, because that's what's going on. But if we think we're going to go to the doctor and get a pill for everything, we've missed the whole point. We have been taught our whole lives to be consumers of modern medicine, which is pharmaceutical medicine. Good health makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't make a lot of dollars. Now, the drug industry has every right to make money, no question about that at all. The ethics, I think, need to be very closely watched. What the pharmaceutical companies are doing may not necessarily be in the interest of our population. You can be as sincere, and you can be sincerely wrong. Approximately 106,000 Americans die from pharmaceutical drugs each year. And these are people who took the medication as directed. There's a lot more turning to alternatives because what's being done before you doesn't work. There is no magic bullet, but there is a lifestyle change that reverses serious chronic disease. It's cheap, it's simple, it's safe, it's effective. The solutions are here. They've always been here. Every single person in the world, every culture, every language, every person in the world knows it. You are what you eat. Food does matter. It's a choice. You don't have to be sick.